Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I have my horror block unboxing for December of 2016. So, there are supposed to be items from American Horror Story, Ouija, Friday the 13th, I think, also A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Army of Darkness. I think those were all supposed to be in here. I do know, I think it's three items. One of them was supposed to be in the October box. I think it was October, but, and it was a Nightmare on Elm Street flask. And the reason that they wasn't in the October box was that for whatever reason, they couldn't get it uh, through customs in time. So they decided to put it in this box and all right we'll just get into it i will do it blind because there are things in here that i don't know about all right so let's see what this is so this has a pentagram on it and it has a goat so the goat is a reference to at least what i think is a reference to the devil so we'll see what this is. Okay. So this is, okay, I do remember. Okay, I, I know this item too. But this is a, why not? A candle, which you pr I just turned it on, but you probably won't be able to make it out. But it's like a fake candle because it is battery operated. But it has a pentagram on it. Um, so yeah, I think, I don't know if this has to do with anything. It doesn't, the box is pretty plain. All it has is that and then a barcode on it. So I'll have to check the spoiler card whenever I get to it and see if this has a is something other than like the devil all right so then okay this is the nerd block exclusive freddy krueger flask so it's got a nice box for ages 17 plus i don't know if that's gonna going to, yeah, it says age 17 plus. I'm not sure if that's the right category of people that need flasks. But this is pretty cool. I was very excited for it because I thought I was going to be able to, uh, I don't really drink, but there was a Halloween party and I thought I would, might be able to get it before Halloween so I could take it and then whip it out, but unfortunately that did not happen. But here we go. It's got, it's the Freddy Krueger sweater with green and red, and then it's got the uh, claw marks on it. So that's really cool. It's got a nice feel to it. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Um, I'm glad that we got it, at least got it in some capacity, even if it was a couple months late. So then, this is one of the other items that I know. So this is a box, and it has, it says American Horror Story on it. Um, this also has a pentagram in it, and it's got, it's got like a cows like a longhorn skull uh, behind the letters and then it's got some different icons uh, it's got like the medicine icon so not really sure what those have to do with but this is from American Horror Story Asylum and Technically, I think that this is supposed to be a mug. So this is, has no, I 
pretty sure it has no reference to anything in the actual show of American Horror Story Asi uh, Asylum, but this was used in the ad promotions as well as the cover of the DVD and Blu-ray of it. This box didn't come in the best condition. Luckily, it didn't break. I'm not quite sure, but this there's like a spot right here that wouldn't uh, go down. Alright, so we've got some flat stuff, so we'll just do the t-shirt, and I did know this one too, so this is the Ouija item. No, it just says Ouija, but it is of a Ouija board, so that's really cool. I have a Ouija board uh, that I got, it's an older one, so I got it, well I got it at a... Uh, like an antique store and I was pretty happy to find that but and it's at school right now so that's why I don't have it all right okay I see that the uh, this was a trend last year or maybe it was two years ago I think it was 2015 was when it was a trend but this is a army of darkness mouse pad I don't really use a like regular mouse pad or mouse for a computer because I don't have a desktop anymore. I just have my laptop and I just use the little keypad thing. But that's pretty cool. It's very nice quality and <clears throat> I would, I'd be inclined to hang this up somewhere because that's still nice artwork, and it's not bad. I don't know if there's like a frame or something you can find for it. But, it's a nice item, even though I won't use it for its intended purpose. Then we have Room Org, which I don't know if... I don't know, I don't remember who either, it was somebody I watched that said it or something I read, but that Horblock was not going to do Room Org every month anymore. That they were going to, I don't know what they're going to do in place of it, but that they weren't going to do it every month. Somebody said that, but I don't remember who. But this is the Room Org, and this is the January-February 2017 issue. And it's the girl with all the gifts. Gifts. For some reason I read that and I was like, why did I say GIF as in G-I-F? But it's the girl with all the GIFs and <clears throat> so that is the cover article. Um, let me find my favorite page which, oh it has people who die, oh, oh it's so, there's a cool article here about the 2016 in review, so it's got it's got the best feature, so they say that's the the witch, and best television, which is Stranger Things, best first horror feature, who which I assume is the for like director, the best director who did uh, their first horror movie, and that was Ten Cloverfield Lane, Dan Trachtenberg. So that is pretty cool. I'll definitely have to give that a deeper look. Let me see if I can find this page though. Alright, so this is one of my favorite parts in every room org is the coroner's report. Because it's just weird, it says weird stats and morbid facts. And so let's see. It says, on November 11th, 2016, Facebook experienced a glitch wherein it began declaring tens of thousands of active, u active users dead and converting their pages to memorial pages. So that's pretty, pretty bizarre. I never, I didn't have that happen, but I vaguely remember watching or reading an article on Facebook about it. So then there is... It says, scientists researching horror, film, horror films' effects on the body have determined that scary movies not only raise heart rates, heart rates, but they boost viewers' white cell counts. That's actually fairly interesting. 
uh, I want to go into medicine, so that's that's an interesting thing. And that is everything in the box besides the cards. So let's see what they have. So we have our puzzle piece. I'm think I only need one or two more pieces before I get the $100 Shirt Punch gift card. So then we have what's coming next month. So it says next month will include gruesome item from Silence of the Lambs. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a big Hannibal Lecter fan. So that is cool. And then it says along with an horrifying exclusive from Resident Evil. Not so much a Resident Evil fan, but I did. I am getting next month for sure because they had a sale at the. It was like unboxing month or whatever. No, unboxing week, and they had a 50% off sale, so I was able to get Horror Block for $20. So that was nice. So then to recap, we've got the Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Flask. So that is a Horror Block exclusive. Then we have the Ouija shirt. Then we have our American Horror Story Crying Nun pencil holder. So it does say pencil holder, but I'm pretty sure I read on the thing that it is a that it was not microwavable safe. So I don't know why you'd be microwaving pencils. I did have a bad experience when I was younger, and I put a pencil in the microwave and it blew up. So don't ever do that. But this says ward off evil pencils. Pencil thieves and keep your stock safe with this crying nun pencil holder from American Horror Story. Beware those who don't obey will be shipped off to the asylum and left weeping black tears. Then this says the this candle right here, it says Behemoth LED light candle. It says we're shining a light on age-old pagan traditions and deities with this behemoth. Candle. The flameless LED technology lets your lets you worship till your heart's content. No matches or confessions required. So, yeah, I'm not super familiar with the Behemoth, but something that has to do with the devil, I think. So, but this is cool. Um, I almost I kind of wish that it would have been something that is more recognizable and more like a actual property, but it's cool. Then, and that is an exclusive. Then they have the exclusive Army of Darkness mouse pad and the issue of Room Org 174. So that is it for this unboxing. If you guys enjoyed this, please give me a like and let me know what your favorite thing out of this was. If I had to choose, everything was pretty pretty decent. They started to, they've been getting better. And I would say that my favorite thing is this American Horror Story Crying Nun pencil holder. But I would just probably use it more as a display piece. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys for watching.